Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Requiem. Requiem recently came out on Steam, I would say a few months ago? At least within like the later half of 2016, early half of 2017. And this is my blind Let's Play of it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the controls are just your standard arrow keys, uh, space or enter to confirm, uh, escape for the menu, and Q to talk with mom whenever she's with you. I guess we'll be finding out later what that means. See the boy in a hospital. Who's there? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh. It's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Huh. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So, how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry man, I gotta go. Hey, wait! Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime? It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? wonder why we're in the hospital in the first place. Oh, we can move. The door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Sure. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Alright. An origami hat. Treatment guide. Patient number 237. Pemtrex disodium, 800 milligrams, once. November 21st at 4.02 p.m. 31 seconds. Carboplatin, 360 milligrams, once. November 21st, 4.03, 16 seconds. Carboplatin, 376 milligrams, once. December 12th, 4 p.m. and 4 seconds. The house plan looks like I could use some water. Alright, I'll get the phone now. <laughs> Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm gonna be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped you drop off your little brother at Grandma's. So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read, I'll read to you, it'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Aw. The lights are on. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! Huh. Okay, wise guy. I've got a couple of things to tell you. I feel like I should be doing more of a feminine voice for her, but you know. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! 
Not so fast. But there's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that lots of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They took Rakuen! What did they take? Rakuen, it's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm... It has a brown cover. It looks like- it looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Not a terrible idea. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Cool. Alright. I want to see this room a little bit more. Anything in here? Open the cabinet? Sure. The cabinet is empty. Can we do a quick save here? File 3. Is there anything in the journal? Find out who stole your book. We have items. So it is an RPG in a sense. But more, I think, puzzle based. Which is most RPGs, but we'll see. An Ivy bag for a saline solution. I also love how the font is, uh, push the call button? Sure. Hello, can I help you? Is the cafeteria open? It is. They should be serving breakfast now. Cool. Push the call button? Sure. Hello, can I help you? Sorry, I called by mistake. No worries, try to get some rest. I don't really need the nurse, but I guess for contents, I think we can check it out. Hello, can I help you? You mean she's not there already? Well, she should be there soon to take your vitals. You know the drill, hun. Oh, that must have been a female. Whoops. Oh well. We have a bit of bathroom here. Oh, that's cool. Fill the sink with water. Uh, sure. The sink is filled with water. All right. A mirror. Oh my! Quite extensive. A hospital scale. Open the locker. You find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look underneath? Sure. You found 5G. Cool. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? Alright, this place is big. Let's go this way. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, alright? You're doing great. Hi, friend. Hey there! What's up? Hey, I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to- sorry about the phone. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl my age with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool! And, don't worry, my mom knows. She's the only one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting ya! Nice to meet you- nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the, in the hospital. Like what? 
I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here, but here is the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Oh. Point is, I may do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here feel a bit happier, then it'll all be worth it. Hey there. Is your brother thief? Dude, yeah! Chief Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Hey there. Tell me about the folks here. Who do you want to know about? Goodness. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time. He's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why, okay, why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about? Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she, has, she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the, at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. You wanna know about? Well, that's pretty much it. A pink cat? Hi, Dr. Dupet. Hello. Oh, it's Jackie. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system, platelets, perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and the echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. I think that'd be pretty painful, actually. Oh, I'm a little kid. I don't need to know this. What can I help you with? In a world with so many new things to learn, no one needs to be bored. For example, did you know that a neutron star is so dense that a teaspoon of it, of its matter, would weigh more than all the people on Earth? I don't know what that means. One day you will. You will understand, and then it will blow your mind! I'm sure, I guess. Nerd. Can help you with. Did you hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but I was told that closet had been lo has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them outside the corner of my eye, and for but a second, so unfortunately, I could not say. What can I help you with? Some of the folks here. Who would you like to know about? Panky. The children love Ch Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! I... Okay. Who would you like to know about? Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before, before his mind started going... We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw oh, man. 
But hey, maybe he knows something that we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure! Sure, I guess. Oh boy, this guy's weird. What do you want to know about? Danielle. Danielle is a purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. I gotta redo my voices. Who would you like to know about? That's about it. I guess I could talk to you if I wanted to. Anything in here? Oh, no. Get some blood drawn. Draw blood! That's good for people. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber! I don't know how to fix a toilet! Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I could dig up some supplies. Sorry, dude. A device usually measure height. A hospital scale. Hi there. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. My stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo choo. What? Oh, these are rooms. Well, let me go down the list then. Are there rooms on this side too? No, I should go lay out later. The toilet isn't broken. Something metal is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Can I go? Hey, what are you doing? I, um. This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. I guess. Okay. How are you today? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. How are you doing today? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that these areas have long been closed off, even to staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. How are you doing today? Who would you like to learn about? Sue. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye or something. I heard that Cora and her friend friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. That's about it for me. This game is really deep, like, his wife's in a coma. Patient number 138, blood samples. A thermometer. Patient number 138. Anoxic brain in injury, stage 1 coma, respiratory therapy session, November 21st. The houseplant looks like it used some water. Everything needs water. Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting them for a long time. So you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. I wanted to do a quick check to make sure that I didn't miss any rooms on the other side there. Because we came out... The door is locked. Keep out! Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Look at the doorknob. There is an electronic device with a class code labeled Closet 5C. However, it does not appear to be turned on. Okay. Because we came out from that room over there, so I could, we could go here. Oh, hi. 
What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! It figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room! And where is that nurse with my coffee? Sorry, dude. It happens. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat! See what I mean? Patient 186, blood samples. Treatment guide. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands! Alright, Tony, I'll leave you alone. Oh, yeah. A book about airplanes. Alright, Tony, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> you seem to be having a rough day today. Patient number 262, blood samples. A thermometer. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached inside the folder. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe that the metastasis to be the cause of his, for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucin hallucinations and delusions. No, uh, October 21st, was uh, was found climbing a ladder in construction zone 5B when questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. October 28th, was found the yard digging in the mud, completely unresponsive when questioned, appeared to be unaware of his location slash time. November 2nd, carrying bags of... And that's the end of the note there. It's a flower. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? What's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something? Yeah, did you remember the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after these hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that, we're, that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? You have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all think, think that I've lost all my mind. I'm not one for gossip. You need something? Alright. Hold up, this... What's up with this? Here's a little tunnel that's been running through here has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Cool. Ding dong. Alright, cool. Hi there. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. The door is locked. Alright, well, I'm not getting in. A semi functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Hot coffee, Reese Locker 2. Peanut Choo Choo's 10G. I think I only have five, so I would buy Choo Choo's, but. Sure, I'll open the locker. The door is rusted shut. Man. Open this locker? Sure. You find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. I feel like if I'm, I'm probably gonna find a couple of info fields, I read it? Sure. Tell OK Periods, a group of fun loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. I feel like. If I'm gonna be finding that marble, it's gonna be like either in here or somewhere. Uh, did I check this? Open the cabinet. Folders of medical medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. Look underneath, sure. You found 5G. Yay! Open the cabinet. Cabinet's empty. Well, now I can buy. Choo choo. This game is very relaxing. You receive peanut choo choos, and now I think I should be able to give it to this lady who really wants a peanut choo choo. Fit bag me, I'll do right now. What do you want to do? I offer a peanut choo choo. Wait, you're giving me this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Hmm, my intentions, instinctions are telling instinctions, instincts are telling me I should go look at this now. 
What do you want to search? The upper shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between the two books. Read it? Sure. 19 March. Junior? Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. That's the middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Which do you want to search? The lower cabinet. Holders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of these folders. Read the card? Sure. Closet 5C, passcode 1721. Closet 5C, okay. That was room 5C. Well, the passcode thing isn't even turned on, so I don't even think I can get in here. If I wanted to. Yeah, I would need to turn on, like, the power to set things. I don't know, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Like, cabinet-wise or something. Before we go into the next room. Well, that's pretty much all we can do in this room. It's probably a good place to stop. So, next time on Rakuen, we'll be heading into the cafeteria and hopefully finding a bit more. Whatever happened to Yami? Who's the thief of the cafeteria? Will we find Sue's marble? Find out next time.